shocking mental health statement. Harry intended to surprise the audience, but turned into a laughing stock. Hello, friends. Welcome to the remarkable news of the notorious hypocritical couple, Harry and Meghan Markle, on our Kate Middleton and the Queen News version 2 channel. One of the speakers at the meeting held in San Francisco on Wednesday was Prince Harry. Just a few hours after the publication of Meghan Markle's most recent interview, Prince Harry made an unexpected appearance on stage. The Duke of Sussex attended the Masters of Scale Summit with Alexi Robichaud, co-founder and CEO of the mental health and coaching company Better Up. The summit brings together a variety of corporate leaders with the aim of fostering innovation, acceleration, and co-elevation. The Duke, the chief impact officer of BetterUp and a fervent supporter of mental health, spoke at the event of the value of treatment and mental health. In a tweet from Doran Weber, vice president and director of programming at the Alfred P. Sloan Foundation, Harry reportedly made note of his time spent in the military and with the royal family. The Duke claimed that during his 10 years in the army and while growing up in the firm, he never heard of the phrases counseling or coaching. Mr. Weber continued, reporting what Harry had said on stage. His life altered when the blinkers were removed. At another point in the presentation, the Duke said he used Better Up's coaching service, saying in jest, I wish I had two coaches, but I have one. Harry argued for redefining mental health as a way to unleash human potential, according to Ban Ku, another seminar participant. The Better Up Twitter account said, Mr. Robichaud and Harry will speak about the need for leaders to focus on their mental health just before they took the stage. Many followers of the Duke responded positively to this tweet by urging Better Up to provide a live stream link or footage from the occasion, while also calling the monarch Good King Harry. Harry's attendance at the event seemed to have been well received by attendees as well, as seen from the following tweet from Toby, the founder of TechT.co. So, when Prince Harry arrived on stage as the summit's final guest, even CEOs older than 60 got giddy. Even while he was a working member of the royal family, Prince Harry joined and oversaw a number of productive initiatives relating to the concerns of mental fitness and mental health. He co-led the 2016 initiative Heads Together with the Prince and Princess of Wales, which sought to eradicate the stigma associated with mental health. In 2017, Harry and William took the unusual choice to be candid about how their mother, Princess Diana's passing, affected them. The Duke admitted on the Mad World podcast, hosted by Bryony e. Gordon, that he had suppressed all of his feelings for the previous 20 years, but had started seeing a therapist at the age of 28 after being persuaded to do so by his older brother. Harry stated that although he had previously seen a number of physicians and therapists, it was meeting and being with Meghan who gave him the impetus to mend himself in the Mean You Can't See Apple TV Plus series that he co-created and debuted in May 2021. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex and the Prince and Princess of Wales collaborated in 2019 to promote the launch of Shout, a 24-7 free text messaging service that offers rapid assistance to those who are suffering a crisis. The Duke also led initiatives aimed at promoting the mental well-being and fitness of duty members and veterans. His most successful endeavor to date is the Invictus Games, a multi-sport competition for ill, injured, and wounded veterans and active duty personnel that was introduced in 2014. Its goals include using sport to heal from both obvious and subtle wounds, highlighting active duty personnel, and creating a sense of community. Harry also worked with the Ministry of Defense to develop the HeadFit program, 
which gives military personnel the tools they need to maintain their mental fitness in the same way they maintain their physical health. Harry's claims about therapies and training are horribly questionable. The audience no longer appreciates his ability after many times encountering this prince's empty advice. One person stated, How can he say he never heard of therapy while infirm when his brother and he, when Harry was 28, offered up the importance of mental health? He even had therapy for years as I stand it. He and Meghan will take any opportunity to put down Royal, even while trying to use the perks of Royal. It's unconscionable what they both do. Another said, Just goes to show how stupid this man is. He has been coached all his life from the day he was born with the, in the royal and army, and yet he has never heard about coaching? Is this guy for real? As for therapy, I'm sure the queen and his father had both tried to get therapy for both Harry and his brother. Both of them were patrons of mental health organizations, and Harry is saying he has never heard the word therapy? I think Harry's lying through his teeth yet again. When are the lies going to stop? The toxic duo really should be stripped of all their names and called the Pinocchio couple. Harry seems to be controlled by Meghan, Doria, Oprah, Gail King, and Tyler Perry, who are making him look like a fool on the world stage. They are using Harry for their own agendas and having Harry attack his own family and people. They don't have to get their own hands dirty. Plus, they can make Harry look like a complete fool, which will come in handy for Meghan when she files for divorce. Harry is just too dense to see that he's being made to look like a fool. This will all end badly for Harry when it hits the fan, and he realizes he's being played and used. He will live to regret his betrayal of his family, country, and people. Most of the animosity I see seems to be directed at Meghan, but Harry's close proximity and the way he appears to be so hen-packed means that he is bound to cop for a fair amount of it. I think more people blame Meghan for Harry leaving the royal family than Harry himself, that she wears the trousers and was able to lure him away because she's a control freak and he's weak and gullible. Control freaks, freaks like to lure their victims away from family, friends, and even their environment. I'd bet that most people thought game for a laugh Harry was all right for a royal before he met Meghan, but she has turned him into a shadow of his former self, and I see him frowning more than laughing now. In fact, I often have a penny for your thoughts moment when I see him frowning or staring into space like he has a lot on his mind. Meghan is a militant, feministic, alpha female, a predator, and wannabe apex predator, a ruthless social climber who is so full of her own self-importance that she will step on anyone to get where she wants to be and without a hint of conscience or remorse. Meghan has changed Harry so much, much more than Harry will ever change Meghan, i.e. it's not a meeting of minds but a takeover. She won't be happy until poor Harry is completely and utterly emasculated, because deep down she's a misandrist at heart, a veritable man-hater, which is why she has no knock the man out of her men to make them accept her. What do you think of Harry's unusual behavior and his latest statement on mental health and well-being? Let us know your thoughts below in the comment section. We hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this newsletter. See you in the next videos. Goodbye.